like the video and subscribe for this wonderful looking cookie. Hey yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in this video we are here back inside a build a boat once again and today we are going to be taking a look at the best boss fight rewards in build a boat history. We are going to be taking a look back at boss fights ranging to almost five years ago and seeing which boss fight from then to now gave the best rewards possible. And some of these boss fights are actually still playable to this day and you guys can still claim the rewards so stay tuned. Also make sure to like the video and subscribe and without further do let's go ahead and hop immediately into the video congratulations to this person right here for winning some free gold if you guys do want to get a gift by me inside a build about make sure to go ahead and comment down below your roblox username also like the video and subscribe all right now let's go ahead and hop into one of the first ones and i do want to say i'm not going to really rank these in any specific order because all of them give pretty decent rewards so we're just going to go ahead and start off with one of the first ones and this boss fight is insane let's go ahead and take a look coming in at the first boss fight on the list is going to be this skeleton boss quest and the skeleton boss quest was limited time quest in build a boat it was significantly more difficult due to the fact that a very thick and dark fog rolls over when the quest begins and you guys can see that this uh, skeleton boss was actually quite terrifying and i will say this is probably the hardest quest ever inside of build a boat history so this boss fight was activated through a secret branch that you activated on a tree inside of the game and well basically what it would do is it activates a skeleton boss fight all right so he would throw like hands at you and it was almost impossible to actually deal damage to the skeleton boss because you'd only spawn in for like genuinely like two seconds and then re-disappear. And it was just super hard to come across him. And when you finally did, it was really hard to just deal damage inside of the first place. Especially since when this originally came out, we only had three tools inside of the game and not that many PvP items. There wasn't really many like cool like tricks or anything like that to defeat it. So it was pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. And the reward that this boss fight actually gave was super, super good. And these items are super rare now let's go ahead and take a look all right so the rewards for fighting this boss fight and completing it was by far i think one of the best inside of the game i'm not even kidding i think this boss fight might be the top of the list but there's still better boss fights so stay tuned for that that you can still play by the way all right anyway what you guys actually get from this is candies all right you actually got candies from getting this as well except these two candies weren't existing then and also what you got from defeating that boss fight was also the halloween thruster right here which i only have nine of it's literally my rarest thruster that i have so this thruster got from that and also one of the rarest items in build about history is going to be the pumpkin and i actually got it not this pumpkin right here all right that pumpkin does not count i am talking about this pumpkin right here you can see i only have four of these and this is literally like the rarest one of the rarest items inside of the game and this thing is so old that literally the coloring tool doesn't even work on it it's the same with like the the candy cane blocks if you guys have ever seen those before paint tool doesn't work on those because they're so old but this right here is one of the rarest like items inside the game also same with the thrusters so all in all that quest right there was super super overpowered well let's go ahead and take a look at the next boss on the list because this one is very crazy as well and gave some pretty interesting stuff next up on the list is the other pumpkin boss now this boss fight was honestly really cool i want to say guys the halloween updates inside of build are like the best updates of the year i'm super sad we haven't got one lately inside of the game but you can see this boss fight that we got you have to once again activate a secret branch to actually get to this area click on a pumpkin and it will lead you inside of this secret layer and this is where the uh, pumpkin originally spawned guys i do want to say that this boss fight if you played it legit it was super super difficult as well because you had to fight it in literally almost complete darkness but lucky enough we actually glitched it to where we could see every bit of light possible but this is what it looks like if you fight the boss legitly it's completely dark and it is super super difficult and the reward for actually winning this boss fight was pretty good as well you'd get uh some pretty decently rare items for this reward you would actually get the pumpkin which uh is actually the jack-o-lantern and i believe that this item is actually exclusive to the boss fight they may have bring it back inside of a earlier update they might have brought it back like the following halloween update for a short amount of time but not for too long and it is probably still considered a rare item because i only have 49 of these things usually they might bring them inside the shop for a limited time inside the halloween updates but i mean if we don't ever get a halloween update again 
then this item is extremely rare. And I believe it did give some candy as well. So all in all, it was a pretty good reward. But this next boss fight gave an even better reward. Check this out. This is going to blow your mind. The next boss fights I actually want to get into, which actually took hours and hours for us to actually find the secret to get inside of here. Like, I'm not even kidding you guys. I literally sat on my PC for almost 11 hours trying to figure this out. We finally got into the boss fight area. No one could load in. It was it was great. So the owner actually had to spawn us all into uh, one game because, like, we couldn't get in. But anyway, this right here is the Fabby boss. Now, the good thing about the Fabby boss is that a lot of players could participate at the same exact time, which could make the boss fight, like, extremely easy. But it was still very hard, especially with, like, a bunch of people. But the reward for this boss fight was not bad at all because everybody actually got bread. As you may know, bread is one of the most wanted items inside of the game as well. You can see right here, this is what happens when you finally defeat the boss fight. Fabby just explodes. And then you guys will see what the reward is here in just a second right there. 25 bread for free. And you also got the Fabby plushie for free. So all in all, it was a win-win. And now the bread block inside of build a boat as I mentioned earlier, is one of the most wanted items inside of the game. Nobody really knows why. It's just bread. I, I really don't know why people want this block so bad. Let me know down below. Do you guys want bread inside of build a boat? Comment down below right now, bread. Now I, I want to see how many people want bread inside of the game because it's literally just a loaf of bread. I mean, it literally has a strength of one. I don't, I don't get it, but hey, you know, it's whatever. This next quest is going to be a Christmas boss fight. And well, this boss fight was the gingerbread boss. And I will say this is one of my favorite boss fights inside of the game. Not only was the map super Christmas themed, but there was a secret to activate this. I actually could be wrong on that. I believe, I, I think there was a secret where if you actually clicked some Christmas presents and like these like log cabins around the map. I don't know if I'm remembering this correctly, but it activated the boss fight. Now I could be wrong on that, but I think there was a secret with something with that. But anyway, apart from that, the reason why I want to mention this boss fight is because the reward that it gave. And I believe the reward for this boss fight, when you fully complete it and you go through every single wave of the gingerbread, it actually gives you the, the blue jet turbine, which is the snow or winter jet, whatever you guys want to call it. This boss fight was extremely fun to do, but it did take forever to do it. And the reward for this boss, as I mentioned, is these purple, not purple, this blue jet turbine right here, which is honestly super sick. This is one of my most favorite and rarest items that I have right here is the winter jet turbine. And the cool thing about it is that it has a little jingle to it. And also it has this little snow trail, which all in all is one of my favorite items inside of the game. Although I don't really use it much and I use purple jets way more. It's still really fun to have. And also I could use it to make some pretty cool custom jets inside of the game because the color just is super cool. So honestly, that boss fight 10 out of 10. But take a look at this next boss fight because this next boss fight not only gives you a gold reward, but also gives you three exclusive items inside of the game. And you guys can still do this boss fight to this day. This is crazy. All right, so when you actually join this game right here, it's called Project Zeg. And it's a build a boat for treasure, like connected game, kind of. It's like a community fan game that Skeleton has made. And by the way, you guys can actually explore the map and find tons of secrets that might actually lead to like so, some like build a boat, like update secrets. I could be wrong though, but there was definitely like old secrets. There might be new secrets, who knows? But anyway, if you actually go over to this portal over here, if you actually defeat the Zeg boss fight, then you actually get Zeg plushies inside of the game. As soon as you actually complete the boss fight, it'll give you three plushies added to your account absolutely for free. And I believe 500 gold, I, I believe. I could be wrong on that. Look at, they just, they just went through the portal. They are gone. They're going to go play the boss fight. But if you guys play this boss fight, it is kind of difficult at first, but it did take me a few tries to get it. But once you actually complete it, you can explore the map after you complete it. It's super cool, but make sure you guys go ahead and like the video, subscribe, and let me know down below what your favorite boss fight is inside of build -A -Boat. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys inside the next one. Peace out, and goodbye.